In part b of this problem, we want to know if this voltage expression that we've been given represents a traveling wave. And we've already identified that this e to the point e to the minus, let me rewrite this, e to the minus j 100 d term represents e to the minus j beta d. Now remember this is also written in the phasor domain, so if we want to convert to the time domain, we would be multiplying this by e to the j omega t. And then once we convert that to the time domain, we'd get an argument that has the form omega t minus beta d, which we recognize as being a form of the solutions to the wave equation. Then as t goes up, to get a constant argument, beta must also uh, sorry, not beta, d must also go up. So this represents a wave traveling uh, towards the generator, since in the d coordinate system, positive d goes to the left towards the generator.